Hello and a huge welcome to this video, I'm Scorpion from How To Do and in this video we will be learning how to change a standard assets car into any car mesh you want. For example, I changed the standard asset car into this car and and yeah this is the uh, this is the thing which you're gonna learn in this video and in the next video I will tell you guys how to make enter and exit animations just like this one. So character can get inside the car with the animation and then we can move around the car like that and if I reverse the car you can see that there our character is sitting inside the car and let me just go ahead and stand the car over here park the car over here or let's let me just go ahead and move it over here and get out of the car there we go he gets out of the car and BAM and there we go yeah so this is what we are gonna learn in the next video so if you want to learn this and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and in the next in this video I will only teach you guys how to change the mesh of this car all right so yeah let's get started so I'm gonna come to the main uh, scene in this uh, in the previous videos uh, we made this so we can move around and if you want to learn all of this and if you haven't seen this you should go ahead and check out my GTA series on how to make GTA for Android and it's not working so in the previous videos we were able to make this so our character can walk around with the joystick we can also look around with this uh, part of the screen and we can also jump uh, jump and of course we can also run with this button however I cannot do that with the mouse so yeah and then we can also get inside the car uh, if I come to the door this door pops out and then we can drive the car however there is no animation for the character to get inside the car and outside the car so uh, that will be done in the next video so make sure you see that of course we can get out of the car so uh, but in this video I am going to change this mesh of this car so let's get started so first of all what you need to do is you need to have some kind of a car mesh you can use any mesh but I'm using the Lamborghini and the reason why I'm using it because uh, all, all the parts of the Lamborghini are you know separate so this door is separate and this door is separate so so that it will be easy for us to you know animate it so there we go and yeah so I'm gonna use this one but you can use anyone the link to this will be in the description box below and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and select my Lamborghini and bring it near my car uh, standard assets car and then I'm gonna bring it uh, like that so that the rotation of the both of the cars are same and then I'm gonna come in this view and make both of them kind of like equal so that I'm gonna make it a little smaller so that the tires you know match uh, there we go I think it's gonna match and I'm gonna bring it a little out and yeah that's that and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my car which is the standard assets car and in this sky car there is the body of the car alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable this this body and I'm gonna drag and drop the Aventador or Lamborghini in the uh, in the sky car alright so there we have it but as you can see the tires are also separate and that is not what I like because it will be really difficult for us to you know rotate the car you know the tires should be one like uh, if I come in here and select one of the car like you can see the standard assets car has one whole tire you know so I'm not gonna use this uh, Lamborghini's tires so I'm gonna use the standard assets car uh, tires so I'm gonna delete these tires so what we're gonna say in the uh, uh, in the search we're gonna say wheel and I'm gonna select the mesh wheels there we go so as you can see all the wheels of the uh, of the car are selected and I think that is that uh, let me just go ahead and, this is the steering wheel and yeah I think that's that so we're gonna delete this one so delete and continue and there we go so now there is no wheel there are no wheels for this car and instead of uh, its own wheels I'm gonna use the standard assets car wheels uh, so let's take these four wheels and enable them there we go uh, and of course we also have to set them but before I do that I'm gonna delete the standard assets car body 
and continue and there we go all right so now when we play the game you will see uh, it pretty much is the car you know however as you can see if you play now the tires are not set at all uh, so we have to set them let me just go ahead and do that quickly uh, so what you need to do is you need to come out of the play mode and first set the cars uh, wheels uh, select the ones with the same side and then I'm gonna bring them little in just like that and then select the other side and bring them in inside also cool select the front one and bring a little in so now it matches but however if you play right now it's not gonna work there you go it does not work so we have to come into the wheel hubs and we have to set them like that so let's quickly go ahead and select uh, as, uh, play and then if you move the wheel hubs you can see the tire also moves so we have to set them like that so let's just go ahead and select the front one and bring it a little in so this looks good to me so let's just copy the component come out of the play mode paste component values so there we go it's now set the bottom one looks good to me now let's just go ahead and play again and set this one as you can see this one looks good but we can set this little inside uh, like that copy component oops copy component um, paste component values there we go now we have to set this one uh, there we go and bring it in just like that so that both of the, them look good match 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 there we go so now we have to copy component again come out of the play mode paste component values this one is set and now the last one remains so let's just play and select it where is it this one and bring it in a little more and there we go cool uh, there we go copy the component come out of the play mode and paste component values and that is that if we now get inside the play mode oh it's not set from this angle as you can see these are not set from this angle so we also have to set them from this angle too because you know it does not look good from here so let me just go ahead and check if i select the both front of them and bring them over here somewhere over here and play the game right now will it work oh yes it works it's great that saves a lot of work let's just select the rear ones and set them like this uh, over here and play the game again and you will see both of them are set right there. so the bottom uh, the front and the rear are set as you can see it looks good however the material does not matches so we have to match the materials too so let's just go ahead and, and create a new material all right and this one i will call tires or wheels wheels and then go ahead and select all of the wheels uh, select all of the wheels and drag and drop this material over here however it does not look good so let's just go to albedo and uh, search for car standard assets car and no uh let's go to normal map first and go to car car and select the normal map for the car wheel so as you can see it looks good right now and let's just go ahead and make the material a little black something like that and then of course we can increase the metallic or increase the smoothness so that um, it looks good and i think it looks good right now so if you save the scene right now and play the game it should actually work so as you can see the car is there we can move around and get oh the car is a little too small for us <laughs> uh, but of course it will work so there we go the car is moving around and if i reverse the car oh don't fall if i reverse the car you can see the tires are actually moving and then it's really cool and of course we can get out of the car but the car is a little too small so let's just go ahead and make it a little bigger so take the car and make it bigger just like that so that it is uh it is too big i think it's too big very small and i think that is cool play the game and check it out and that is that 
that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel and bam yes so if you want to learn how to do uh, this if you want to learn how to uh, do the enter and exit animation just like this one so if I go in there and there we go he's it it, uh, he opens the door get inside and close the door and then we can move around just like that and then of course we can get out and he opens the door gets out of the car and uh, of course there is some problem over there like the animation does not matches correctly but you can do that I really did it quickly so that I can see if it's working or not uh, but yeah that is that if you want to learn this go ahead and subscribe to my channel how to do and uh, in, the, in, in the next video I will show you guys how to do that so stay tuned BAM <laughs> check that out